ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for... Wednesday morning, the 22nd of July, and some of you are getting rain as I do this update this morning. Let's uh, look out the window with our Skycam network at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. We'll start with the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam in uh, West Alabama. Had some pretty good rain there uh, yesterday and last night. Rain falling again this morning. In fact, some spots in Tuscaloosa County approaching one inch of rain over the past 24 hours. Uh, down in Demopolis... Uh, you can see a bit of daylight there. Uh, no rain falling. In fact, it looks like the sky is mostly fair there, but they will be getting wet in just a bit. And on the eastern side of the state, there's a look at the lights of the city of Gadsden. Water vapor satellite shot. A, a little uh, vortex is over Nashville, and that's going to help produce a band of showers and thunderstorms around here today. But note the drier air not that far away, and the dry air begins to move in here later today. And accordingly... Looks like the weather should be pretty dry tomorrow and Friday and Saturday as well. But uh, there's the radar this morning, and yep, it is raining uh, at 4.55 from Huntsville down to Smith Lake, Jasper, Fayette, and Gordo in Columbus, Mississippi. And that rain will be moving on into uh, uh, the Interstate 59 corridor soon and ultimately into East Alabama. No severe weather, though. Uh, the only risk in the nation today, just a little tiny area over the um, nation's midsection. So things will be pretty quiet on the severe weather front. Rain for the next five days. Uh, heaviest rain in an axis from near New Orleans to Cleveland. And this is valid through Sunday evening. And uh, uh, really for us, the bulk of the rain will be today. And then again late in the weekend on Sunday during that five-day stretch. We think any shower should be very hard to find for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. Peak of the tropical weather scene. The guys at NHC have pegged a couple of spots out there. Uh, one north of the Bahamas and one over Hispaniola. Uh, and there's a look at the satellite shot. And you can see all of that is very disorganized. And uh, obviously, we're not expecting much development because of this. Very harsh conditions out there across the tropical basin, Atlantic basin, with uh, wind shear. You like to see good ventilation and light winds aloft with these things for them to form, but uh, just not happening right now. Maybe this will be a quiet season. We'll see. we got a long way to go. But, of course, we have not had the first named storm as of yet. Okay, this is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Nice trough aloft. Passing through here and uh, down below. Band of showers and storms. Looks like the rain is ahead of the guidance here. Uh, this still has rain over northwest Alabama, but really it's almost ending up there early this morning. So uh, it could be the better chance of rain today will come during the morning hours. And then tomorrow, the surface boundary is way down there at Montgomery. And again, it might be farther south than that. So I really think most of the northern half of the state will be dry tomorrow. We'll start to warm up, too. Upper 80s likely. And then Friday, same deal. The northern two-thirds of the state dry. Low 90s are likely. Hey, this is summer, you know. Supposed to be up there. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, the same deal. Got a front to the north. The old front to the south. But the air still relatively dry. So... While I guess you can't rule out the chance of a shower, the chance looks awfully small. And then Sunday, look at the trough still over the east. Goodness, uh, uh, we can be thankful for that because it has been so pleasant this month. Heat back over the southwest. Here comes that new front nosing in here. And we think that's when we'll begin to see a bump in the number of showers and storms on Sunday. Now, this front's going to stall out, we think, near the Tennessee border. Uh, and if that's the case, that will extend the chance of rain into Monday. There's Tuesday of next week. looks pretty moist. And Wednesday looks awfully moist. So, uh, again, uh, after three relatively dry days, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, uh, showers and storms should be back by Sunday and early next week. End of the forecast, the 8th of, and I'm sorry, the 6th of August. And again, it, that's what I guess we'll just expect for the rest of the summer. This persistence pattern continues with uh, troughing over the east, the heat over the southwest, and again, that looks pretty soupy and not especially hot out there and sure works for me that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 3 30 or so today and of course we invite you to watch us on television this evening abc 3340 news at 5 6 and 10 again thanks for watching have a wonderful day and god bless
wet weather for Brian. 